Welcome back to Stadium Authentics. Right now, we have the honor of sitting down with one of the greatest, if not the greatest, college basketball coaches of all time, Mr. Jim Beheim. How are you, Jim? I'm great. Just it's obviously a tough time, but we're at practice. We're, we're trying to get everybody ready to go and hope that, like, all these other sports that we're somehow going to be able to play in November. Now, Coach, obviously we all know that you went to Syracuse, but Brandon actually went to Syracuse as well. So both of you, I just kind of want to hear your personal thoughts and your admiration for what Syracuse means to you and what does the community mean for you as well? Well, it's a great community. They love basketball. And from the moment I, I got out here, you know, almost 60 years ago, 1962, and played and was an assistant coach and head coach. I've never left. So it's been a long run. So it's, uh, that's been great. Um, it's, a, it's a good city, a nice city. And uh, the university is it's just a great place. And uh, I've been lucky to be able to be here for so long. And we, we recognize Brandon sometimes as a graduate. We try not to talk about it too much. But he, yeah, he is a great, he's a great graduate. He's been a, a guy that gives back to his university. And that's, that's so important. I've got four years of eligibility left, Coach, but we'll leave that for another time um, in case you need a good three-point shooter. I want to kind of dive into something that is near and dear to your heart in your personal life. Now, that is the Jim and Julie Beheim Foundation. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Well, you know, we raised money for a long time for Coaches versus Cancer, probably five, six million dollars. And then we started our own foundation and we're able to still raise money for cancer research, but bulk of the money we raise go to kids. Uh, any organization that works with kids in central New York, and you know, we're able to give grants from as little as $2,000 up to $100,000. So every penny that we raise stays right here in New York. It doesn't go to a, a big organization, although that organization may be a good one. Uh, we're able to raise, you know, in, in our grants are in the neighborhood of about $600,000 a year in this area. And uh, boys and girls clubs, uh, anybody that works with kids. And uh, to be able to do that and give back to our own community, um, it's just, it's special. And the, our fans have supported us. They, they've donated uh, big uh, over the years. And to be able to give back to your community, there's nothing better than that. Absolutely. Did you ever think we'd be signing the dome, selling pieces of the dome? And I mean, it's, it just shows how important that dome in Syracuse sports is to the community. Um, but yeah, thank you I for mean, participating. It's a great <laughs> thing to see the, the pieces and uh, some of the stuff you put together. It's great. And I think our fans like that kind of thing and they support that. And uh, it's been great. You've been coaching over 40 years when you were there at Syracuse as a coach, but I want to know, there had to have been an aha moment for you where you were looking <laughs> at a player, realizing their truest potential. Can you share a story with us on that? Yeah, my assistant in 2002 said, let's go down and see this kid in Baltimore. And, he, and uh, you know, Troy Weaver, he's now a general manager in the NBA of Detroit. Very smart basketball guy. And he said, you know, this guy could help us win the national championship. And, you know, you hear that. You just, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, you hear that a lot. This guy's that good. But I went down to see uh, Carmelo. And the first three plays, he made a, a three, a pull-up jumper, and a dunk. And I turned to Troy Weaver. And I said, you know, you're, you might be right. This guy could help us win. And we had a good group come in in 2003. We had some veteran players. And, and he led us to the national championship. But I remember sitting there in that gym. In, uh, in Baltimore looking at this young kid play and thinking, you know, this is the guy. I mean, this guy can do it. And, I mean, it's, it's unlikely that that's ever going to happen, particularly with freshmen. We are two best players. We're freshmen, uh, Carmelo and Jerry McNamara. But, you know, we had some good supporting players and things went right. And uh, we got on a roll and, and uh, went all the way. It, it's, uh, it was a great moment. And I remember – I always remember sitting in that gym watching this young kid play and thinking <laughs> this, this could be the guy. And Absolutely. it turned out to be the guy. Well, thank you so much, Jim. We appreciate it. As always, we cannot wait to check in with you again real soon. Thank you.
Wow, what an episode this has been. We had so much fun. No question, and I think it's a time when you got to start enjoying your collecting. It's that time of the year, winning, sports. Everything. Holidays. Yes. Thank you, Allie. You've been great today, and I hope the fans and, and everybody out there has enjoyed this. We love to hear from you, so please reach out. Tell us what you're looking for. Tell us what you like. Join in on the fun. Yes, we can't wait to hear from you. That's Collectible Exchange on Facebook. For this show, this is Brandon Steiner. I'm Ali Melendez, and we will see you next.